Realme just released its new model, the Realme GT Neo 2. The brand's last major release was the Realme GT Master Series, which was released at the end of July. So the new model comes just a couple months after the GT Master Series. The reason why Realme is able to confidently update its product library so quickly is because of its increasing sales figures in the global market. It continues to be the fastest growing phone brand in the world in 2021. The Realme GT series has become one of the top selling phone series in the last season due to its high value for money. And the new GT Neo 2 is another attractive option that still continues the GT series credo. Judging from the features, it looks like the new model isn't going to give competitors a chance to breathe. This time, the Realme GT Neo 2 focuses on gaming performance. It's powered by the Snapdragon 870 platform, which is also the most commended flagship chipset for Android this year, especially since Snapdragon 888 models often face thermal issues. So is the GT Neo 2 going to maintain the brand's attacking position in the market? Let's find out. First, let's unbox the device and talk about its design. The GT Neo 2 continues to apply Realme's classic packaging, and we can see the main selling points of the phone at the back, including an 870 processor, 120Hz E4 AMO LED display, 65W super fast charging, and the brand new cooling solution. And the most intriguing selling point is definitely the new cooling solution. We are very curious to see if it can help the chipset achieve an even better performance output. We will come to this very soon in this review. Once you open the box, we can see that the phone is on the upper layout, and below the phone there is an attached phone case and the 66 watt charging suit. Well, looking back to the phone, we have to say that Realme always gives us surprises over colors. This time, apart from the blue and black variants, Realme offers an extremely visually appealing color, which is none but the neo green variant in our hands. The contrast redesign between fluorescent green and black looks so Realme style. The green area adapts AG glass processing and it feels so smooth that the glass cover reminds us of a silky texture. Even the bulging camera module has a consistent color finish. Over the right side, the dark glossy bar with the brand logo makes this design stand out and brings a balance to the fancy green color shade. No doubt the green version will become the favorite of many users. But if you prefer a simple and low profile design, we still recommend the black or blue variant since they look more elegant. The front face of the phone uses a 6.62 inch 120Hz AMOLED LED display with a hole punched at the upper left corner, which looks no different from the brand's previous models. However, the display is by far the best display for the brand, and it's probably the best display that you can have in its price range. The full HD Plus display is made of a Samsung E4 panel with a peak local brightness at 1300 nits. While playing HDR content, it has a well-tuned color presentation and decent contrast. And unlike those edge curve displays, the flat panel of the GT Neo 2 looks more comfortable with a better presentation of edge content. In addition, on this 120Hz display, all the operations and animations feel very smooth, similar to those of premium models. Compared to its predecessor, the Realme GT Neo 2 has upgraded its battery capacity up to 5000 mAh, which makes long hours of gaming very easy. But at the same time, the larger battery will increase the thickness and weight of the phone to some extent. The GT Neo 2 is 8.6 mm thick and weighs 199.8 grams, which is still acceptable for most gamers when considering the 5000 mAh battery. And coupled with Realme's 65 watt fast charging efficiency, the large battery could still be easily charged to 100% in just 37 minutes. Note that fast charging can also be used while gaming, which is definitely good news for those long hours of gaming. As for performance, since the phone is powered by the flagship grade Snapdragon 870 chipset, we no longer need to mention how powerful the processor can be. Just check the benchmark results we got here. They are also the best results that we've got on all Snapdragon 870 platforms. Now let's move on to its actual gaming performance. In PUBG Mobile, the GT Neo 2 could give us an extremely stable gaming experience at 60 FPS frame rate, which is one of the best results that we tested this game under HDR graphics. Then, in the stressful Genshin Impact, under the highest graphic settings, it surprisingly got an excellent average frame rate of 58.23 FPS. But here, please note that in some complicated scenes, the running state got a bit fluctuated. But thanks to the powerful thermal design, when it came to some less stressful scenes, the phone pulled the performance up again and maintained a smooth experience. Then we subjected it to another heavy game, Nimian Legend. Under 1080p resolution, with top graphic settings, the phone proved itself again with a frame rate result of 53.30 FPS. We continuously played the three games for a total of one and a half hours, but impressively the phone didn't really heat up much. 
Well, at least it's not like other gaming models, as the max surface temperature only reached around 46 degrees Celsius. With such a powerful performance output, such a cooling effect is very rare on models powered by the Snapdragon 870. Although it's not strictly a gaming phone, the GT Neo 2's gaming performance is close to or even exceeds what other gaming phones can do. More importantly, during all the tests under the aggressive GT mode, the phone didn't let thermal issues become a limitation of the stable performance output. On this phone, we also want to talk about its camera performance. The Neo 2 comes with a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle camera, and another 2 megapixel macro lens. Let's start with the main camera. From the samples, we found that the image tone of the main camera looks brilliant. And sometimes it could even be a bit oversaturated when shooting vivid subjects. And sometimes the image could be overexposed when meeting high contrast scenarios and lost detail in extremely bright parts. Apart from these things, the image looks pretty awesome thanks to its rich detail and lifelike colors. And it also has good performance in night shooting. Under low light conditions, most images are clean with a good dynamic range. But under extremely low light conditions, the images are not so good at capturing dark details. As for the wide angle camera, the image has a pretty good white balance and close color presentation with the main camera. But the purple fringing issue is a bit serious, especially at the corners. Under general night scenes, the images look good, but under extreme low light scenes, the samples have no surprises despite improvements in overall brightness. So obviously, the image quality of the wide angle lens still needs to be optimized. Well, the macro lens only comes with 2 megapixel resolution. So the images shot on the lens are not really impressive. For shooting close subjects, we prefer to use the main camera, which has much better color and details. In addition, we found that Realme has added the street mode to the GT Neo 2, which used to be an exclusive shooting mode for the GT Master Series. The image shot in this mode has really strong styles and more dramatic filters for options. And it also supports quick open by double pressing a volume button when the screen is off, which is really useful in street photography. In our test about its battery life, the results showed that the 5000 mAh battery can support a slightly longer usage time than those models featuring 4000 or 4500 mAh batteries. Coupled with the 37 minutes of full charge efficiency, there's no need to worry about power while playing games for a long time. So the Realme GT Neo 2, no doubt, is another flagship killer for the brand. We talked about its impressive design, excellent display quality, powerful performance, amazing power solution, revolutionary cooling system, and so on. It has almost all the important features to be a real flagship killer. If you don't care much about the phone's cameras, the GT Neo 2 will not let you down at this price point. So that's all about this performance beast. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. There are more interesting reviews coming soon, just stay tuned. This is Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you soon.